392. 392. Yeah, yeah. 392. Yeah, 392. 392. 392. 392. Yeah, yeah. 392. Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. Got my charger. Ty's charger. Miles 300C back there in the back. Figured we'd give y'all a little bit of a uh, comparison video between the Daytona and the Scat Pack. I'm gonna wait for them to, you know, do their little thing. Cause you know, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a collaborative video, you know? He was just finished washing up his cars. Nah, bro. It ain't. The board is different, probably. It's probably the same, bro, but I'm getting rid of this, bro. <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is. You never come the hell outside, man. I don't. Are you sleeping? Yeah, I was sleeping. Now, here's the question. Do you actually Joe popped have a dog up. in your house? With the, with the Q. A little Chihuahua John. Did you work today, bro? guess we can make that a little bit of an intro man shout out to joe for coming over man but we gonna get this video cracking um doing a little side by side but i'm gonna kick it with them real quick all right so what do you where do you think we should start with this man ty you want to go ahead and introduce yourself man man it's your boy t to the y man t y vlogs y'all see it right joe there cut us off with that but uh other than that yeah it's the dodge charger right here rt scan pack 2018 um it's at 40,000 miles probably gonna do a video on that um yeah it's basic dynamic package that's Mr. awesome no. 40,000 miles for 18 is actually yeah, not bad i got all. it at 21,000 miles tell them where you got it from so i went to uh, dodge at chapman and you can go to ford they got ford chapman too so they they, they co own and i guess cool part in each one so um yeah that was a good shout out to the person that gave it to me she's not there no more but shout out to her Nolan's there, so if you want anything, come to Chapman. Yes, sir. Shout out to my yes, boy sir. Nolan. He gonna get you right. And uh, yeah, we got we got two of the best cars for the right price always. For the right price. And two this is of course cars. my twenty one. Well, first Miles, you wanna go ahead and say something too? We got Miles' car in the back. You know he's gonna be you know putting his sort of you know twist on the the side by side too. Maybe pointing out some some stuff. All I'm gonna say is that these both of these gentlemen have beautiful cars and right shit. back at you, sir. Right yeah. back at you. Listen, I, I can't wait till I could be completely up and running so I could do a full pull with y'all. That's that's all I'm gonna really say. Definitely coming soon, man. Coming soon. Way too soon, bro. Extremely soon. This is probably the first time. Well, since you cleaned it right now, I could actually see the two tone difference. I don't really know if the cameras even pick it up that good, but the two tone looks so good, man. Yeah, that should do. I could see the charger two tone looking mean, looking super that's mean. Great. But yeah, yeah, I was gonna figure we might as well we might as well start from the front yeah, and then yeah the and then go from the back. After you, sir. After you. Yeah, so this is yep, 2018 Scat Pack, 21 Daytona. Originally, y'all, I did want a Scat Pack. I was looking for a Scat Pack, Identic, identically like or ironically something exactly like this. Scat Pack, you know, nothing crazy. Base model, just wanted the engine, but I wanted the Dynamics package. I needed those those. Rumbos, one of the wheels. Hellcat wheels. Hellcat wheels. That's what man. really threw me to it, bro. Ever since I seen Hellcats, I probably wheels, bugged this best, man to death the asking best, him for his best wheels. wheels you know? Yeah, he bugged me a lot. They, these wheels are the best, the man. The best wheels and the different color ones are, are the new ones is fire too. Like the different color ones, like you said, brass monkey, all of them, man. They're just so good, man. Crazy. They really are. And I, I don't something about them. I would I would mess with Rich too when he had them. Like yeah. well, he still has them. I'd mess with him too. But I mean, real realistically, when you take a look at these two cars, so. I mean, the thing about this is, I have a Daytona badge, you got a Scat Pack badge. Right. I ain't gonna lie, man, I always was a fan of the Scat Pack badge. The Daytona badge is cool, don't get me wrong, but... Like you said, I seen it in the last video, the last one you said it's plain. It's, it's very plain. You decided it, if you want to take it off or not. And I kept it on you there. Kept it on, though, I did so keep it on there. I didn't black it out, on. I did keep it on there. Yep. But I do like how the Scat Pack always had that the color. Yeah. And then again, you're gonna notice the snorkels, but that's just because and this is the a 2019. And the grill change up too. I like that grill change up. Yeah. It ain't like the honeycomb look. I like that. Maybe y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's just because of the 2019 and up. I don't think that is Daytona specific. Yeah, but then I did the little years. carbon snorkels, but yep. yeah, the grills definitely change. I still always like the B logo, man. Yeah. That's what. Do you usually 
use your fogs a lot on your car? You yeah, I usually actually, I usually run them all the time. Okay. You don't really run them? Yeah, I run them. I like them like that. Cause you seem run. like, cause these, it seem like Dodge cars, they made the, uh, I don't know if they, the LED, right? Yeah, it's yeah. The lighting is LED, but it don't seem as bright at night. Like, Definitely I don't know. Don't. They, they don't. Do it Definitely justice don't. as it should, you know. Uh-uh. Because you, you, don't, you, be you don't have the HID bulbs, right? You no, have the I halogens. Don't. I think it's just the regular. Yeah, I have the halogens, halogens as well. One thing I didn't like about that was the yellow tint. But at the end of the day, man, like, right. it was getting a car for me. Right. I wasn't going to pick and choose. I didn't get the roof. I didn't get the moon roof either. But yeah. that's, that's that's neither here nor yeah, there. I didn't get the sunroof, moon roof either. It was but, just like, it was just the, the really, the, it was for me, was the engine, oh, the yeah. sound, and just the, having a charger, like, Bose powered by SRT. You know what I mean? You know, just having a charger. He with got his like... catch can in there. Ty got the catch can in there. I do not. Um, only thing different that I'm noticing is they the Daytona came with the and Mopar cold air intake, yeah. um, and that's really it. Yeah, so and I this just is just like a stock a, a, a stock the airbox. Inside of there. That's it. I want to get a K and M filter. Just a regular K and M filter, just to put in the stock boxes. I don't know. I don't like. I like stock boxes to myself. I don't know. I just want. I just noticed a difference in that. Like just having a stock box keeps everything, you know what I mean, correctly stocked where it's supposed to be. Now having a core air intake, if you do it right and then you get all the vents and shit to get all that air out of the hood, because these cars get hot as hell. Hot as you can hell. sit here for like three, two hours and this shit still will be hot like you just drove it not too long ago. So like it's crazy. Super like an average hot. car probably will cool down more. Like if you it's crazy. It's most mainly I think it's the headers because they're not fucking uh that's that what's that coating you can put on the uh yeah, ceramic coating it, it's like holds that heat in so most of that shit if you would do that to the car maybe it'd probably calm it down more it's probably one complaint i have about these cars yeah. is they they get hot they get hot, they get hot. They you get be hot. sitting in traffic man you see that ticker that start that popping up. up i mean every every single person i've ever seen with these cars yeah. has experienced the same issue yeah. so um, like i don't know i'm like i said i might do the thing that dave did do the 180 thermostat in here see how it rocks see what happens i know the car is still gonna be hot regardless it's a hot ass car to me that's what they made for, bro. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see how Dave, the, how that works for him. For a time, exactly, right? yo. What, what because I always thought about it too. Is a bunch of YouTubers I know, like the, you get the 160 thermostat, like shit like that too. Yeah, see, but the thing is with the 160, bro, it'll it'll open up the, therm the, the thermostat, bro, but it won't kick on your fan. Right. What, and what that's tune, what I heard though. What tune, what tune, your fan see, issues too. You gotta tune. You gotta tune. You gotta tune your fan to come on at 180 degrees. So it's not like you can just throw. The 180 degree thermostat in your car is gonna be and it open and it'll open at 180 degrees. Right. It doesn't work like that. So you got see me, I, me That's knowing me, I would have put the thermostat the on it. Did nothing else. Fans yeah. on at 100, yeah. 100, so you got to be able to kick those kick fans, fans on. on. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest. I thought they came with from from the factory with 180s. Right. You would think. You would think. Yeah. I guess it's a little too late since Dodge wants to go ahead and discontinue yeah. all of our Emmys, yeah. but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, moving on to the sides, what do we got? Just different wheels, Just man. Just different wheels. These are the day Daytona wheels, but also the dynamic package the wheels dynamic from package, yeah. a certain time. Because I don't know what year they stopped making these, right. but, man, these wheels is crazy, Sorry man. for the dirtiness, too. Mopar. <laughs> brake dust man and then the just the black 392 and then again the 392 hemi but yeah. like i said in my last video and i'll probably say it again i preferred this emblem uh through and through yeah. other than that i do like this i one, do like that though but i do like this one even more right. i think with the right color it pops, yeah, it pops. um and it, it, it you know, I think these on F8 greens, yeah, that that cool. red, yeah, is, that, shit, that, that red is just a little, so ace, 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 ace. Yeah, it's a little. Well, he got the Daytona. Yeah. I mean, he got the Daytona too. So yeah. that's going. Damn, Joe. Oh, Killing us. Damn. Killing us. He was like, he was like, he was like, I had to show off. Show off I had to show off. off. I was gonna say, oh, side of the car profile still the same. I mean, same two thing. chargers. Daytona does come with black wrap roof mm -hmm. and of course the, the black hemi on the top i like that too that's what i like i was thinking about putting that on there little characteristics they do go a long way but at the end of the day man dodge has such good looking paints For real. i take a paint i take a paint roof or i take a black roof it yeah. doesn't really matter but I like, I like it doesn't really love, matter like and again you know i don't have my other stock wheel i do have the upgraded um as you want to say i mean upgraded if you will yeah Hellcat replica wrapped in 305s. We'll be getting rid of those soon. So if you do want them, let me know. I'll sell them to you.
Shout out to Spoiler King. Got my little, got my little thing or whatever. We gotta get, sure. we gotta I get, get to I want. Yeah. And just again, Daytona right here. Yep. That's, That's really what I like it. too. I they, like this it. is nice. I, I do like, like this. Out of all, Especially out of the this, older ones too. I like how they transformed it to it. That's yep. fucking fire. Out of that, excuse my friend. The top and that, I think the Daytona in the back is the best. And I said it in the last video. I do want to eventually get that colored in. I think, but I've just been liking the gray and you know gray and black colorway if you will that i just found it wasn't really necessary to do that yet now, i mean other rare, than that these are the rams cool my i don't know my preference i think dodge should have put daytona right here they definitely should have did something like something different because you know charger you got your rt badge and charger badge right and then i just have a charger badge there was no other badge that right. really came on this I mean, both did our little twist, though. You know, Ty got the, the carbon diffuser, which I think is really good looking. I mean, they could have put the road runner on the back of this car. Yeah, that would have been the on it. They just should have... I think they could have did something. You know, all the stuff, they just... They could have did something. You know, all the different stuff they're doing now, I mean... Yeah, they could have did something different. You know, got another wicker again. They nice little you know wicker. What? Two you different wickers. Like the RT, like how mine. RT in the back. If people think I'm probably pushing something slower than what I am. That is so true too. Sleeper, like, sleeper that, yeah. Like some RTs, they move out. Like, you ain't think people, oh, you got RT, man, I'm gonna smoke them. Man, you be gone. Next thing you know, Leave deuces. And of course, both got like, you know, different plates and stuff like that. So I think what we're gonna probably do is. And uh, the lights on the uh, tail lights. You, you got something, you got them blacked out too, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Blacked out. Mine yeah. came with the regular, uh, it came with the car blacked out. But then it came like scat pack show up on the on the back. Yeah, that's decent. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. And I like the vents back here too on the bumper. How they made that? Because if it was just plain, it would not. I wouldn't. Dodge pissed a lot of people I mean, off, man, when they started putting that on the GT and everything. Yeah, though. They didn't like. They didn't like that. Nah, because the thing about it is you gotta think about people got the scat pack to differentiate themselves, right, with the look. Right. Next thing you know, the RTs took that look. Right. You get a GT, it literally looks identical to these cars, except yeah. the wheels That's crazy. and the ride height. The bumpers are damn near the same. The hood, you got the hood scoop. You yeah. got the aggressive, you know. Yeah, they did. They did piss a lot of people off of that. I, but I, then I, again, I but now. then again, they made a good looking car right. more affordable for people. For people, yep. It just minus the engine. So yeah. you got to think so of it kind of in both from, ways. From each old yeah. standpoint, so I, I respect it, yeah. Because a lot of people don't have that type of money to get And at the end of the day, pe people going to do what they want to do. They're going to yeah. upgrade. They're going to do this, 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 and that. Yep. Now, my personal opinion about Chargers is you shouldn't have made it a V6. That's that's my only opinion, bro. Yeah. When you go SXT, GT, all that, I was, right. it's unnecessary, bro. Because right. that's just my opinion. Because Chargers, what the name was, yeah. already invented for it like man just for a muscle, muscle car, and, car and i don't i don't see any you know yeah. muscle cars from the 70s and 80s with v6s in them right. so it Damn just Damn sure don't I, bro i'm a purist right. it don't got a v8 you yeah, know side profile these so if we don't have a v8 it ain't what it's for so i it's, agree and they're just taking another chance of making more more bread yeah, more bread. yeah i'm with you more money off i'm with you at all off what it is i'm gonna put a v6 in here we're gonna make the brand out branch it to another thing then you get people that's with V6 putting muffler deletes yeah, and shit on like just leave it. If you want to get a V6, just leave it as it is. It's not going to be nowhere else to <laughs> so see the, the car. So true. The power's not there. You're going to sound like a. So I guess we could, what we could do is sort of hop into the interior here. Um, we could take a look at the the scat pack first. I mean, these interiors are going to look extremely similar, y'all. Going to have cloth seats or whatever. Got the beautiful scat pack logo, 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 logo there. Got the charger on the dash, man. You already know. It says Dodge, just like the Daytona. You know, all you're going to really have in here is different materials, you know. Different materials here, different materials here. Pop open the Daytona real quick. Again, different materials here. You know, different materials here on the seats and everything like that. On the dash and everything. Same looking steering wheel. It's really just going to be the materials. You know, mine does say Daytona over there. We will, we will walk over there. I want to get... But when you take a look at these two cars, y'all, they, they are pretty much, you know, they are pretty much the same. You know, there are a good amount of differences, but, you know, at the end of the day, man, they're two chargers, both powered by 6.4 liter SRT motors. I do like these seats, though, man. Definitely one of the reasons I wanted to 
or I gravitated towards the Daytona, I should say. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I was gonna say, Ty, we should we should cut these bad girls on real quick. All right, bet. With that little bug, we're gonna do who who's you wanna do first? Wait, wait, can you uh you can you turn them on with the hoods open? Yeah. You can. I always for some reason I always shut my. I don't know why. All right, you can turn them on. Oh, you can shut. So we gonna we gonna do you. All right, man. So what the hell you got done? So I just got because the damn sure wasn't stock. So I, I don't know. So what the what? So it, so in the middle is three inch mufflers, right? So that's the mufflers is three inch. I got the resonators cut from the back too. Okay. It's Dynamax resonators on the back and four and a half tips. Chrome four and a half tips. Let's see what I'm so just Dynamax resonators in the back and three inch in the middle. Yeah, I can see the res right there. And give it like a couple pops too sometimes. Like So here, yeah. You want to show the people yours? Yeah, I cut that off. Bet, bet, bet. And I just got uh, carbon five inch tips and then uh, three inch uh, straight pipe as well. All right. I was going to say, I got to find my keys. Oh, he lost his keys. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> Maybe about a month ago, and y'all was right next to each other, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yours, yours had the growl, bro. Like Nolan's had had a lower rumble to it. And when he steps on it, it's loud, but it's not as loud as yours, bro. Because yours is just something different. Yours just get up on fucking plane and it's just wow. Like you gotta hear him on side on the highway side Every by side. Every muffler delete is different, man. And the bro. one thing, man. Shout out, shout out to Ron. Shout out to Ox. His straight putt or his muffler delete was the loudest I've ever seen any charger. Point blank, hands down. I will always say that no matter what. Right. I don't know what they did. I don't know who he did, who he had to work for him. But even after I had mine done, his was still louder, man. I don't I don't understand it. Yeah, that's that the is. beauty of these cars, man. They they sound different. Right, they do. But you can get them to sound yeah, so completely different. different. That's why I say yours you got like that, that 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 bark that I yeah, look for. Totally yeah like that's that rumble that's why i say i could have like i think the back pressure that's what it be like it keeping that re keeping that. the resonators on made it have a more more back pressure yeah you can't really see it too well but of course yeah, yeah, your car still, is got low. The, still got the resonators on there and everything but bro the back pressure is definitely i think see, i think it's where it's at you to keep get most of your back pressure from your cats from so cats? if you're not cutting your cats off that, that was to say that was loud though yeah that was loud if you're not cutting your catalytic converters off, bro, then neighbors are like, it shouldn't sound like this. Get them out of here. It shouldn't sound. I like mean, we only know it's right. We we will we will start this up once we get this video done. We gonna because this, in my opinion, this car is probably still the loudest. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, y'all, these cars are still, in my opinion, there is no difference. Yes, maybe the Daytona may have some more luxurious amenities, if you will, but this is the Scat Pack. I mean, the the name holds value man yeah. i mean everything about this car i mean people know what the scat pack is about this car man people love man they love both of them so i mean yeah that yeah y'all just wanted to quick you know quickly make a little side-by-side -side video man while we're here man just chilling on a sunday again came and pulled up at miles crib just bored you know not really doing anything today so i figured come out get a little content going and take a look at some beautiful cars man you know Thank y'all so much for watching, man.
Appreciate you, Ty. Appreciate you, Miles, there man. You know. Man, it's starting it's starting to get hot, man. It's starting to sweat. Let's get y'all Miles car uh cold. Well, hot humid start. We'll get you some revs and stuff like that. I feel like that's a perfect way to end the video. I think you order people a review on the next video. Review coming soon. <laughs> y'all so much for watching 392 reviews man checking in we checking out, checking out. peace, peace.